Hey guys, this is Mr. Scherenberg, and I have our 11.5 notes up. Um, this lesson is all about reviewing all of the different problems we have come to understand how to factor. And this checklist is in the learn. Um, this is the only thing you'll find in the learn section at Hawks for 11.5, but it is a nice checklist and it's something to refer to. Number one, always look for a common monomial factor. So can you factor something out of every single term? And don't forget, if the leading coefficient is negative, if that very first term is negative, you are, all, you are going to factor out a negative monomial, even if it is just negative one. Then take a look at the number of terms you have. Are there just two terms? If there are, it is the difference of two squares and that's factorable. That's where maybe you have x squared minus nine. Again, that would be x plus nine, or excuse me, x plus three, x minus three. Uh, number two, do you have the sum of two perfect squares? That's the one that's not factorable. Number three and four is uh, what we just did in lessons 11, 11 four, factoring uh, the trinomials, the difference of two perfect cubes, sum of two perfect cubes, I should say. Are there three terms, okay? Is this a perfect square trinomial? This is where your answer will be something like x minus three and x minus three. Uh, the two factors will be identical. Okay, maybe you have to use the trial and error method. Sometimes that's easy, sometimes that's not. Some of you really like the AC method instead of the trial and error method, okay? Uh, the guidelines for the AC method, that's when you multiply the coefficient A times the coefficient C. Then you try to find two integers whose product is AC and whose sum is B, the middle term coefficient. Then you rewrite the middle term using those two new numbers. Then you factor by grouping. Okay, some of you really liked the AC method and sometimes that's the best one to use when uh, the trial and error just becomes complicated. Um, or are there for four terms, meaning do you need to just factor by grouping? Do you need to like uh, group up the factors and then factor out the common number and then finish by factoring by grouping? Uh, that is what 11.5 is. It's just a whole bunch of different problems, all the ones, and just have this little check sheet handy. I'll have the 11.5 review sheet in Canvas um, along with this video. So I hope this helps.